It's the beginning of August 2019, so it's time for another monthly update video in which I'll talk about what we've got coming up this month and what you might have missed in July. By the way, if you click the read more or see more button uh, on the video description, you'll see all sorts of links that I think many people have been missing because they don't typically click on the see more in video descriptions. Now, I always like to begin by highlighting three big things. So with no further ado, big thing number one, we've got another video premiere of a self-directed study in philosophy, Sadler's advice video coming up this month, and that will be on Marcus Tullius Cicero. Um, so if you want some ideas about how to study him, uh, you want to tune into that. Big thing number two, uh, YouTube and Google have phased out Google Hangouts. So for our online events, we're going to be using a new interface, which YouTube brought out and which I tested today and found to be pretty good. Um, that is the uh, YouTube webcam function. So you, you might be seeing some changes coming up with the live events. Big thing number three, my classes, uh, not all of them, but, but most of them are starting in August. So I'm doing a lot of work getting ready for those and I've, I've got an idea for videos coming up having to do with classes that I'll talk about in the August section. All right, so let's talk about July. We had some events, face-to-face uh, -face events. I, I did a talk on Gordon Dixon's Child series, or also known as the Dorsai series of novels for the Worlds of Speculative Fiction series. That was a lot of fun. You can see the link down below. Um, I had a lot of online events, my usual AMA, a philosophy pop-up on the uh, topic of Thumos that I talked about in my presentation to the Aristotle and Aristotelian uh, Tradition Conference back in June here at Marquette. Um, did my half hour Hegel hangouts. Uh, we won't be able to call them hangouts anymore. We're gonna have to call them something else. And uh, we had our video premiere for self-directed self study in Epicurean philosophy. We did have to cancel the Stoic Fellowship because as it turned out, there was a big event in Shorewood that used the library the day that we would normally meet. Um, it was a very busy month for me. My kids were still here for the first week of July. So I always like to maximize my time with them, which meant having to do more work later on. Uh, I, I continued to teach uh, my, my ethics class for MATC online, began teaching the business ethics class for Marquette online, and shooting a lot of video content for that. I shot over 100 videos um, that, that are for that class specifically, uh, in, and I've got them uploaded in a different channel. They're not in the main channel. Um, what else? A lot of preparation work as I get ready for fall where I'm going to have a very heavy teaching load. Uh, did quite a bit of tutorial, philosophical counseling and consulting work, um, editing work as usual for Stoicism Today. And I was on a podcast called Seize the Moment. I'll put a link to that as well below. Um, what else? Uh, I got to working out once my kids were left, uh, once my kids had left, uh, and uh, had a little bit of time to, to recover from that. So I've been working out three days a week, which is good, uh, although you know, I'm uh, often quite sore from that and a little bit tired, uh, in part because I'm a 48-year-old man. Um, video work. I, I did release some of the other videos that I had shot this summer for my online classes, so a lot of Camus work, uh, some de Beauvoir stuff, uh, some stuff on AJ Air, some stuff on David Hume. Of course, I, I recorded my event videos and uh, the, the video on self-directed study in Epicurean philosophy. And I even released some podcast stuff. My son, Matthew, did some, some work for me over the summer, putting together, taking you know, lectures, turning them into podcasts. Uh, he didn't get as much done as I would have hoped, but you know that's life. And uh, so I've, I've been releasing some of the stuff on SART. Didn't get to the Hegel videos again. I was kind of upset about that. But then again, I shot over 100 videos for the business ethics class. I'm um, getting close to the end of that work. Uh, so you know I'm looking forward to getting back into that work, the Hegel work, and some other things this coming month. 
All right, let's talk about August. Um, if you're here in the Milwaukee area, then there are a few events that you're going to want to come to this coming week. Uh, so starting on August 6th at 6 p.m. at the Frank Weinberg Library in Mequon, I'm going to be doing another talk on the quarterly series, Philosophers in the Midst of History. This one is on Jean-Jacques Rousseau, so we'll be discussing him, Romanticism, the French Revolution, all sorts of other things as well. Um, on the 8th, which is a Thursday, at the Brookfield Public Library, we continue our Worlds of Speculative Fiction series with somebody uh, who is a Wisconsin native, uh, August Derleth, somebody who also resuscitated Lovecraft's work, you, you might say, from the pulp grave, uh, and, and you know, published them again through Arkham House. So we'll be talking about his Cthulhu Mythos series, and uh, that should be a fun uh, little discussion as well. On uh, Saturday the 10th at 12 p.m., we'll have our AMA session. I've got about an hour and a half scheduled for that, so make sure you get there with your questions early. I will answer questions uh, more or less in the order that they come in, um, although, you know, if you're asking questions that have been asked many, many times about, you know, Peterson or Zizek or Nick Land or stuff like that, I'll probably skip your question. So, you know, make sure you got something that's, that's kind of on point. Um, same thing on the 10th, 3 p.m. We've got our um, uh, Patreon exclusive philosophy chat. This month, uh, I'm going to be opening it up not just for the, the, it's usually for the upper tier patrons, but I'm going to be opening it up to all the patrons, in part because uh, it's my birthday coming up this month, uh, not far from that. And so that's a little birthday present of me to my, my patrons. Um, on the 12th at 5 p.m., we'll have our public half-hour Hegel Q&A and discussion session. That's open to anybody if you want to join in. Uh, on the 24th at 12 p.m., we'll have our video premiere of uh, Cicero and self-directed study, my advice for, for people. So if you want to join in, be one of the first people to watch it, and also get to engage and chat with me in real time, then you definitely want to come to that. And then finally, on the 24th, 2 p.m., Patreon exclusive, half hour Hegel session as well. Um, so I, I mentioned that I've got a pretty heavy teaching load going on. The business ethics class that, that's online, six week business ethics class, finishes about halfway through. October, I'm designing two other online classes for Milwaukee Area Technical College. Um, one of them I've been planning for quite a while, and, and that's uh, with the Second Chance Pell program, which is a, a way that prisoners can actually take classes for college credit. One thing that we, we know from studies is that you know college education really reduces recidivism. It's one of the most cost-effective ways to keep people from going back to prison. So I'm very happy to be participating in that again. Um, I'm also doing an intro to, to philosophy class for, for MATC. They called me up kind of last minute and said, hey, can you fill in for us? So I, I said yes, um, even though I've already got quite a few other classes on the docket. So Marquette, same sort of story. They need me, and, and I'm teaching two sections of Foundations of Philosophy starting in August. Um, what else? Uh, I'm teaching from Milwaukee Institute of Art and Design again, their Intro to Humanities class. Uh, this time for sophomores who somehow fell through the cracks and didn't take it their freshman year. And I'm doing an experimental class called Philosophy, Mindfulness, and Life, which is not so much about mindfulness as such. That was just stuck there in the title. It's really about philosophies as ways of life. So mindfulness fits into that rather than philosophy fitting into mindfulness. Um, and then finally, I'm teaching business ethics for Carthage College down in Kenosha. And I went down there last week and got my ID badge and parking thing and talked with the business chair. And that's going to be a fun class as well. So there's a lot of preparation work that I'm doing ahead of time because even my face-to-face -face classes, I always want to have all the assignments set up and all the readings and have the whole course thing built out. And that includes providing videos to my, my students. I, I give them the, the core concept videos to help them out. 
Um, I'll be using the, the business ethics videos that I shot and that I'm still in the process of shooting for my business ethics class in the fall as well as resources. Students love having access to that, even if they're going to be there face to face. And there's a lot of other things too, you know, handouts, lesson pages, uh, sets of links, all those things are, are quite important to have in a good class. Um, what else? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm heading down to see my kids on my birthday, which is August 18th, and uh, they're, they're in Indiana, so I get to spend time with them. We'll probably, you know, do some hiking, play some board games, hang out with my relatives, and uh, then I'll head back up here to get ready for work again, right, because I've got stuff to do on, on Monday. Um, video work. Uh, this is the month where I'm actually going to get some Hegel videos done. I've got some time blocked out for it. It's, it. it's quite difficult to do these half hour Hegel videos while I'm doing other work, but it's, it's important that I get back to it. I'm going to be shooting a lot of core concept videos. I don't know that I'll release all of them this month, but I'm shooting the following content for my students. Plato stuff, Aristotle stuff, Seneca stuff, Cicero stuff, uh, Augustine, Boethius, Anselm, and Aquinas. So lots and lots of stuff for the first part of the semester, for my intro classes, for my foundations classes, uh, and, and I can even use some of it, believe it or not, in the business ethics classes and, and in the experimental class. I'm going to shoot some book review videos this month if I don't get too bogged down. And I've got an idea that maybe some people would be interested in me shooting videos specifically talking about the courses that I, I'm teaching and you know what I'm having the students read and, and what sort of assignments we're doing and what kind of activities and what sort of resources I'm providing them and, and you know my general take on, on the class. So I think I'll, I'll shoot some of that stuff as well. If I get to it, I may shoot some Sadler Soapbox videos. Uh, we'll see about that. Um, podcasting stuff, I'll be releasing another SART podcast uh, lecture. Uh, and then um, some Aristotle stuff from the metaphysics that, that Matthew did get to <laughs> editing for me. Uh, you still left me some to do, and then we'll see where we go from there. So that is what is coming up in August as we gear up towards classes and uh, a very busy, busy fall. Um, hopefully I'm going to continue working out three, maybe four times a week. Um, and um, yeah, maybe I'll see you in some of these online events.